Hello and welcome to our video. With OCBC BizMate. Now all OCBC SME customers can enjoy better commercial fire insurance with Great Eastern General Insurance. So what is OCBC BizMate? OCBC BizMate is our premier insurance plan designed to help safeguard your commercial property against a multitude of harmful disasters. With OCBC BizMate, enjoy better coverage against fire, lightning damage, and other hazards. With OCBC BizMate, you will receive protection under five areas. Fire. Mortgage protection. Public liability. Theft. Armed robbery or hold up. And plate glass. We cover the replacement, repair, or reconstruction costs of your property in the event of fire or lightning damage. If your property becomes uninhabitable due to fire or lightning hazards, we will pay you up to 10,000 ringgit per month for a maximum of three months. We extend our coverage to include bodily injury suffered on your premises or your business is subject to property damage. We will cover for the legal liability up to 100,000 ringgit. Receive coverage up to 50,000 ringgit for loss or damage to your insured property resulting from theft, armed robbery, or hold up, provided there is visible evidence of forced entry or exit from the premises. We cover up to 20,000 ringgit for the replacement or repair of fixed glass in doors, windows, or display cases at your premises that has been broken due to accidents or misfortunes. There are several mandatory perils that must be covered if your property is financed by OCBC, namely storms and tempests, explosions, riot, strike and malicious damage, as well as floods. Customer can further extend the coverage to a multitude of other hazards by adding special perils to a standard policy to widen its scope. These include aircraft damage, impact damage, earthquake and volcanic eruptions, bursting or overflowing of water tanks, apparatus or pipes. We also cover you for subsidences and landslips, bushfires, spontaneous combustion, sprinkler damage, damage by falling trees, branches and objects and smoke damage. All these perils are subject to additional premiums. In the event customer would like to add perils, kindly take down the request and inform CCA team to include the additional perils. Now let's take a look at the calculation of the premium. To an insurance underwriter, the most important aspects of a commercial building are its construction type, occupation of building, type of coverage or perils required, and potential fire hazard risk exposures. These four characteristics are used in the underwriting and rating of commercial property insurance. All of these factors affect the price you pay for a commercial property policy. The most basic element of a building is its construction. This term means the materials from which a building is made. They are classified as Class 1A, Class 1B, Class 2, and Class 3. Each classification reflects both the building materials used such as wood or concrete, and the combustibility of those materials. Class 1A buildings are constructions with external walls of brickwork and concrete up to the eaves. While Class 1B buildings are constructed from at least 50% brick with the rest comprising of metal cladding. As for Class 2 buildings, these feature a construction of less than 50% brick or are made of non-combustible materials. Lastly, Class 3 buildings feature primarily wooden construction. A second key factor underwriters consider when evaluating and rating commercial property is occupation or trade classification. This term means the purpose for which property is used. Examples are the retail food market, furniture manufacturing, and office building. These two factors will determine the rate of premium. Here is how the premium is calculated. The basic premium for the insurance is calculated on the value of the property multiplied by rating factor. Customer will enjoy 4.5% rebate on premium from OCBC Bank and the premium payable is subject to government tax and stamp duty. Let's take a look at this example, how we calculate premium on bank standard cover. A commercial property with market value of 1 million ringgit that is under Class 1A, running as a retail camera shop will fall under PIAM code 1102, rate at 0.229%. As we mentioned previously, 
It is mandatory for properties that are financed under OCBC Bank to add storms, tempests, explosions, riot, strike and malicious damage as well as floods to their coverage. This will total up the effective rate to 0.349%. The gross premium will be 1 million ringgit multiplied by 0.349% and that makes up 3,490 ringgit. Now that we have gone through the covers and benefits, let's look into the losses that are not covered by this policy. There are several major exclusions. Loss due to date recognition, theft during or after the occurrence of fire, burning of property by public authority, damage due to subterranean fire, pollution or contaminations, war and act of terrorism, radioactive and nuclear energy risk, or property damage to data or software are all excluded. Now let's take a look at the payment information in detail. This policy's gross commission is 15% and the bank is giving customers a discount of 4.5%. Government tax is based on the gross premium before the discount and the stamp duty is 10 ringgit. Premium will be debited to insured loan account. There are two type of cancellation procedure you need to take note. Property discharged and customer wish to insured with other insurance company. For property discharged, CCA will inform GEGM the loan has settled, hence auto-renew and auto-debit will be cancelled. The policy will still effective until expired date. For next renewal, customer will need to direct liaise with GEGM and payment to be made directly to GEGM. If customer wish to insured with other insurance covering the same property, customer will need to notify us and OCBC Bank, Malaysia, Burhad. Such notification must be provided within 90 days from the commencement of the period of insurance. CCA will inform GEGM to cancel the policy from inception then GEGM will refund the premium by crediting back to customer loan account. Please take note such request is on year-to-year basis. Customer is required to submit other insurance policy every year to CCA. Please be informed that any request for the refund of premium as a result of double insurance shall not be considered in the event of late notification, that is, notification received after the 90 days period. For the avoidance of doubt, the refund of premium, if any, shall be limited to the premiums paid for the period of insurance. Should a claim arise, An insured can notify us via online submission, direct call to our customer service line or drop us an email. As we mentioned earlier, for many, fire insurance is set and forget. However, property prices do change over time. As time passes, the sum insured may not be adequate for the current value of your property. Your coverage should reflect the current cost of rebuilding the property. As a policyholder, It is customer duty to ensure that their property is adequately insured at all times. Kindly take note that in the event of under-insurance, the policy will be subjected to the average condition and you will need to bear a proportionate share of the loss. The example below illustrates how inadequate insurance can affect you in the event of loss. With existing sum insured of policy at 200,000 ringgit, reconstruction cost of insured property, at time of loss is 250,000 ringgit, and total loss amount is 100,000 ringgit. The payable claim under this policy will be calculated based on the policy's average condition. Existing sum insured divide by reconstruction cost of insured property, at time of loss multiply by the loss amount. In this case, as this policy is subjected to average condition, the claim payable is only 80,000 ringgit. Therefore, Due to inadequate insurance, the policyholder will need to bear the remaining loss of 20,000 ringgit. To avoid being underinsured, a yearly review of your property and possession should be done before renewing your policy to ensure adequate coverage. For your easy reference, OCBC and GEGM come to agreement that there will be two common expiry date for all Bismate policy which will fall on the 31st of March and the 30th of September every year. Hence, The premium for first year will be slightly higher due to the period of insurance is more than 12 months. This is only applicable to first year policy. Look at the example, loan that drawdown on the 15th of February 2020, 
The period of insurance will be the 15th of February 2020 to the 31st of March 2021, which the total cover period is 13 months 16 days. Refer to another example, loan that drawdown on the 2nd of April 2020. The period of insurance will be the 2nd of April 2020 to the 30th of September 2021, which the total cover period is 17 months 28 days. In summary, Loan drawdown from the 2nd of October to the 1st of April. The expiry date will be fall on the 31st of March whereas loan drawdown from the 2nd of April to the 1st of October. The expiry date will be fall on the 30th of September. Before we end this presentation, here's a few important things to take note. First the customer must ensure the property is insured at the appropriate amount in regards to renovations made to the property. Second, should the customer select to insure the building on full cost of rebuilding, this includes architect and surveyor fees and or cost of debris removal has to meet new building regulations and by laws. Third, the sum insured must be monitored and reviewed regularly to represent the full value in order to avoid underinsurance. Otherwise claims settlement will only be able to cover a portion of the loss. Lastly, Customers may cancel their policy by giving written notice to us or OCBC Bank. If the property is still charged to OCBC Bank, a copy of the policy from customer's preferred insurer must be presented to OCBC Bank. Upon cancellation, customer are entitled to a partial refund of the premium provided you have not made a claim. Please be reminded all requests to purchase own insurance is on yearly basis. Customer should submit their copy of insurance from other insurer every year if they wish purchase own insurance. Any requests for refunds of premium as the result of double insurance will not be entertained in the event of late notification. If customers insist they have purchased their own insurance and decline the fire insurance provided by OCBC, they must be able to produce a copy of the insurance policy to OCBC Bank Loan Operation Department with proof not later than 90 days. Should customers have any further inquiry beyond your knowledge, please escalate to CCA for bank-related issues or GEGM Banker Support Hotline for fire insurance-related matters. Should you need more information on OCBC BizMate, please feel free to contact us. Thank you and have a great day.